Hello everyone, my name is Riley and today in this video we are going to be going over how to get started. And the way we are going to be going over this is by flipping through a handbook created by Mountain Glass. The reason we're going to be doing this is because it will literally help you picture what I'm talking about. And I think that that is the best way to learn, it's visually for me. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, please like these videos. If you enjoy what you're seeing, tell me and I'll post more of that. Alright, I'm going to flip the camera, we'll get started. Haha. <laughs> Our website, Instagram. Yes. All right, mountain class. We got a little right here. I'm gonna give you guys some time on each page. I have the, let's start right here, little ones marked for stuff that I think would be interesting. Here we have all of the colors. Now, when you're glass blowing, you're gonna want to have colorful glass. And these are colors made by North Star. See, they have quite a range of colors. Let's see, some favorites on here of mine. I'd say you always have to have the aqua. That's good. The silver aqua is very fun to use. Blue spruce is nice. I mean, experimenting with all of these has been so much fun. And you'll figure out what you like the most. Locust lipstick, that's a really awesome color. See, they have even more on the back. We have this Lucy right here is a pink UV, which is really awesome. I enjoy those UV colors. This is Nova. It's definitely one of my favorite UVs because it shines like bright like a toxic y color. You can see this right here. It has almost a two-tone-ish kind of look. So that is because this color changes colors in different lighting, which is CFL. It's pretty awesome. So you walk into a compact fluorescent lighting, which is CFL, compact fluorescent lighting, and it will go from the green that you see in the sun to like a blue. And this color, seriously, that shifts three times. So you have like LED light, sunlight, or sunlight, LED light, and then the CFL. It's crazy how this one shifts. Roswell is also a cool color. This Luna blue is very fun. Let's get back to the wide view. Next amazing company. So North Star is definitely the company I usually go to for my glass. And this is all sold on mountainglass.com. And this company is the very next company in line for me and my favorite lists, North Star and Trotman. Trotman has come out with some amazing stuff like slime, you know, slurm. These things are, I mean, amazing colors to use. And then we have my favorite color, Atomic Blue Stardust. Let's get a zoom in on there, let you guys see these. Light Red Elvis, that's the red that I really enjoy using. Blue Blizzard, that's really cool. If you ever want to see like a spacey look or I guess like a blizzardy look. And they have Red Blizzard too. I have my dog in here with me. That's what you heard shaking. Yep. Slurm. It's a really cool color. It looks like Slurm from the uh, Futurama show. We have Sea Slime. Love that color. Blue Slime is amazing. These are, that's what I was saying, Trotman. I, there's a lot of colors on here. Purple Lollipop. I love that pink Lollipop. These are, if you want a light pink, get the pink Lollipop. If you want the light purple that you can see through, get the purple Lollipop. They're both awesome colors. Very much so enjoy all that. And the blue UV. like So there's the Luna blue, and that's North Star's blue UV. I'm not sure why, but I've always, I always just go to this, the blue, the blue V. I think I like the name more, blue V. Oh, and you see, so they have blue slime, and then they have dark blue slime. So 
there's variations of certain colors. I'm sure you saw that this says slime two, that says slime, dense slime number three, so. And every so often they come out with even more variations of colors. We have Mighty Moss, Heavy Blue Stardust, these are awesome colors. And right here we have some striking colors. And striking colors change with higher oxidized flames or higher propane flames. You can see how it's colored differently. You see the Hupo star, the shooting star, the Io star. These ones all also are strikers, so they strike out really cool. Green stardust. All of the stardusts. <clears throat> the blue stardust was my favorite until I found out they had atomic blue stardust. And that quickly became my favorite because it's blue stardust, but UV. So, it's pretty awesome. But all of the stardusts have always been a favorite. You have the green stardust, the blue stardust, even had... What's the other one? I'm not sure, I thought there was another stardust. This company is pretty awesome too. Oh, light blue stardust is an amazing color as well. Hey, Secret White. So Secret White is a definite favorite amongst customers. They love that glowy look. Here, I'll show you a piece. This is the Secret White color. It's an opaly. Pretty cool. So now we have the next company is Glass Alchemy. You can see their cool little symbol they got going on there. I think that's really dope. The glass Alchemy. I don't know what the V is, but. <laughs> Alright. With them, you can see we also have some CFL colors. So a lot of CFL is yellow to pink, or like purple to pink, or. Like right here, the phase is uh, grayish to pink. Lots of, uh, you know, something to pink in that CFL type of color. And they have these thick colors that are what they call Neocad, because the Cadmian style colors, and then you have more of the transparent colors. Like you see, this Prince is just like Purple Lollipop from the other company. You know, and they have other colors in here that are just like other colors in other companies. All of these companies, you know, there's only so many colors you can make. Some companies have gone and done some really cool stuff though. Give you guys some time to check these out. Yeah. So when you're starting glass blowing, you're gonna wanna know what colors you can use to get into the vibe. These are UV, the Blue Dreamingo, and the Electric Flamingo. I have some of those, those are really cool. It's like a light blue, and then you put it in the UV lighting and it turns pink. And same, okay, so this one's really cool too, it's called Glow Stick. And what you have is a white kind of look until you put it in the UV and then it turns pink. Pretty cool. With this one, haven't used that, but that looks pretty cool. Pastel potion. Flipping through this, I've definitely seen some colors that have caught my attention. Where I said, you know what, I'm, I might look into getting that color already. I'm getting the color if I don't have it. See, these are some Chinese borosilicate colors. You know, it's not bad to start off with some China stuff if you want to get into learning. I'm sure that's priced ever so slightly cheaper. This is Mocha's color chart. There's this kind of strange and flip through that. So these right here I have this marked because these are opals. So you could put opals in your glass, which is really cool. You can give it a I mean give your glass an opal inside of it. I have them right here. I mean, look at that. It's pretty cool. So that is the what you see here is the pink opal. So those are there. 
And I get the rainbow ones too, because those also show out really awesome. The mint ones are cool. Preferably, I don't really care for these black opals, the orange opals, or really the white opals either. The rainbow and the pink and the mint seem to turn out awesome. The blue, in my case, the blues that I got, they were too clear, so I didn't really enjoy those either. So, really, I stayed with the mint, pink, and rainbow. Definitely my go-to's. I'm just going to flip through some of this. This is Greasy Glasses tubing. They just have some UV tubing and some other slight colors. Here we have the Wigwag tubing. So all of these tubings... You can see what they look like after you've spun them or wigwagged them. I really like how the company does that. They don't just show it in a line. They show exactly what it looks like on the there once you wigwag it. Right here, they give you a slight view of the tubing and what it kind of looks like. But most of them are all wigwagged. Just like I was saying, it's awesome. Make sure you guys get a nice view of all their options. We have lots of pieces made with these styles. You can check them out at our, at our website. And we have pieces available that we created using some of these wigwag patterns that you see here. I brought out one of my tubes so you could see the wigwag, or not the wigwag, you could see the tubing before it gets wigwagged. And what they're doing is they're showing it like this, but once they've done their work on it. Some really cool patterns on here. There's uh, lots on here that I've never used. Lots of really cool sections. I gotta get some of the Skittles. It looks awesome. Whenever there's lots of lines, too, you can get lots of weak wags out of it. You see here there's blue UV, the blue V uh, tubing, there's also some black, purple, white, Lucy tubing, so that has the UV in there. Right here, emerald green on clear, that's pretty cool. Canary yellow, pretty cool. So these are all of the different styles of things you can wigwag. Alright. I'm gonna flip through these. All right, now we're gonna get to the torches. All right, so you know, I have talked about my Red Max torch many times. 
And that bad boy is back here, where we see the beautiful red box. Great torch. You know, it's got the, oh, well, actually, that's that's the pre-mix one. That's the one I have. It's got the small piece on top, big piece on bottom. Perfect for any beginner or expert level. It's a great torch. All right, we're going to get back to the first page. The first company that we have on display is GTT. Now, GTT has a range of torches. My girlfriend in the studio she has the cheetah and that is down here it's a nice beginner torch you can see all of the little flame things pretty cool so they have the cricket you know i mean 170 bucks for a torch to get started that's amazing you could definitely do that we're just 200 you can get the bobcat which we, I have seen many artists using this in the studio uh, when I was at Zen Glass. Same with the Lynx, and same with the Cheetah. This Cheetah is amazing. Is an amazing torch. Now you see we're going up in price, so clearly we're going up in quality. Now we have this GTT Scorpion, pretty badass. Oof. GTT Sidewinder. And the Phantom. Now the Phantom is one you see used a lot as well. This is definitely an amazing torch. It shows you how there's the outside ring, the inside ring. You know, definitely different than the... You can see the difference in the torch heads from 550 to 100 or 1200. The Mirage is definitely... When someone has the Phantom... Upgrade to the Mirage. Look at that. Beauty. Let's see how many uh, torch little knobs you have there versus over here. Crazy difference. Delta Elite. See, they just get more expensive, more stuff going on. How cool that is. An adjustable thing. Adjustable torch stand, go up and down in height. It's pretty cool. Look at that. GTT coat. GTT Delta Elite. Torch with compression air. Oof, look at that big boy. It's crazy. Those are all GTT torches. Alright. And we're still on GTT stuff. We got a hook. For the hand torch, we got the Mirage. Now that is a really cool torch right there. It's huge. You have their Mirage hand torch. So hand torches are very important. You've seen in my videos we get in there with the hand torch. It's the Smith Little, and you'll see that in just a few pages. And that Smith Little we use is perfect to polish any little section that our torch can't really get into or that we want to get that precise you know aim of heat where we want it all right now we're moving to a company called bethlehem and bethlehem burners i almost got um the bravo instead of the red max my second time around but i i wanted the red max because i felt most comfortable on there and I also liked how on the Red Max, I had a top section and a bottom section, like, kind of like this. But, you know, still, that Red Max is also just, feels like a really solid, good torch. So, And these Bethlehems are great torches as well. So you can get the Alpha, that's, you know, once again, a Bethlehem style starter torch. The Bravo is perfect intermediate to even, you know, professional. And then you have the Bethlehem Champion, you know. And you even, you know, price difference. Boom. So then you have the Grand Bench Burner. You can see there's like three knobs of oxygen differences. And so you can tell that there's definitely 
many different rings in there that are controlled by these different knobs. Alright, then we have Bethlehem hand torch. You know, they have their own little hand torch and also stuff. Like if something breaks on the other, like if you have this and something goes wrong with either one of these, then you can get this. Right here we have Herbert Arnold's mini hand torch. It's a great one to have, but as you see, it's very expensive. So that's why I stuck with the Smith Little. Smith Little is very cheap compared to these. But it gets the job done. These Herbert Arnold's right here are awesome. One of the people who taught me how to make slides used one of these, and it was really cool to see all the little different things. I mean, the precision you can get with this torch is ridiculous. So those are definitely amazing torches. These are two more Herbert Arnold style torches. And then we have Nortel. Now Nortel is also the company that does the Red Max. So these are awesome. The Mega Mini, or Mega Miner. And the Miner. 160 bucks. I mean, come on, that's a great price for a torch if you want to just learn how to do small, simple stuff. And if you, you know, catch the the urge to want to just jump all the way into glass blowing, get one of the Red Maxes. I mean, these torches were perfect. 500 bucks for a torch. And at that point, if you're just starting, you don't need a kill necessarily, because you can just kind of flame anneal stuff. I knew somebody who did that for too long, but, you know, see if you like it, and then get the kill, and get everything you need. The torch, after you have the torch, get the kill, and the this, the that. Go over these a little more. You see, they each just have a little bit different situation. I. The premix is the is the one I have. See, there's different styles. Top fire, I don't really. I just know that this was the one that I originally had and re got again. You see, we have the little replacements for the Red Max, the Red Max hand torch, or not Red Max hand torch, the Nortel hand torch, the multi mix hand torch. The Carlisle. Now these are another style or company of torch. Got your beginners. And at Zen Glass Studio, this is what they had most of people use. They had the Red Maxes and the Carlisles. Really cool torches. Definitely, I mean, you have these ones, you can use that forever, just like the Red Max. Yep. You see these right here, these are Bunsen burners. So these would go underneath the glass, you just hook up propane to it, and it just keeps the glass hot. Just constant propane flame on whatever you're working on. Alright. We have the National Hand Torch. Huge Bunsen burner. It's beautiful. If you're working on a kiln, you need stuff like that. Keeps everything hot. Alright. Now these are extra pieces for the torch tips. You see here we have the Smith Little, 150 bucks. That is the perfect hand torch. That is the one I use. And you can see they have accessories for it. If you wanted a magnet stand or if you wanted a other style stand. 
a valve set. Look at that. Everything you need right there. Perfect. Now we have product listing. Let me get to the next thing. This is just talking about clear. Alright, here we go. This is what we wanted to see. So you can see up here. You have the different styles of joints. You have male, double grind male, female, double grind female, duar, drip, tip, low profile, transition. I want to get a closer look on some of these. So, yep, you can see the basic styles. And then the duar. You see how there's a wide circle? Instead of like on this one, there's not a wide circle around it. So that's what the doer means, and usually those will go down into beakers, and that will help, you know, not have this extra rim. You just your piece will just fit right in there. It's pretty cool. Drip tip that has an extra extended piece come off of the male joint. I don't really ever use those. Low profile, right here. It's just a little bit different. That way, it fits into the piece a little further down and then transitional pieces now that means you see here you have a 14 joint and here you have an 18 joint so the 14 can go into a 14 and then you can put an 18 up here and see this would be perfect as a down stem that would go down into a beaker like this so you put the down stem in there and then your bowl would go in here that's exactly how we would do it yep take a look at these prices for the joints Alright, I have even more down here, you can see, these are unground, more unground, you can see here we have quartz glass ground joints, now, quartz glass is right here oh not compatible with borosilicate glass the reason quartz can take like a lot a lot more heat than borosilicate can take you have those bangers that people use those are all made out of quartz they cannot be made out of borosilicate when you're hitting it with a torch then you're trying to get it as hot as can be that's what we're trying to do when we're trying to morph and melt the glass Alright, you can see these things, they snap joints into place. You've seen them used on beakers and I'm sure other straight tubes, but we also use them to hold our joints into place. You can see, nice cheap price. Dollar. Ah, before I flip, right over here I see that it says colored joints. You can see the amber, cobalt, emerald, jade, light blue light green you see all these different colors of joints you can see they're almost the same price as the clear ones so not bad deals at all this is fritz frit is just shaved pieces of glass it's a bunch of crushed glass that you can put into your pieces. Pretty awesome. Dichro glass. Here we go. Millies. <laughs> Millies. We've made a Millie, but we've made a simple eyeball Millie. Now this is a great example, or these are great examples of how intricate Millies can get. And you can purchase these Millies from mountainglass.com, and then you can use them in your glass. Like how we had this opal that we put in this piece, we could put the Millie right there and the Millie would be showing. You'd see the eye like we did or freaking yin yang. Freaking yin yang. Let you guys get a view of these. It's 
pretty cool. I don't know if you guys are into skateboarding at all. I'm kind of spitfire. The aliens. I gotta get some of those. Those are pretty awesome. And I mean, four fifty for a, it comes with like a little piece, and it shows you up here. You have to have uh, you know three to ten. It's like three to ten dollars per gram. So you think you know you get like a gram of these millies and. It's really cool. You get to experiment with them. Alright, move over to this side. Hey, toxic symbols. Those are cool. Like I said earlier, I'm flipping through this, seeing some stuff that I'm pretty interested in acquiring now, too. It's cool, little Mary Jane leaf. Really cool. this is all pictures that Mountain Glass, you know, they took the time to put these into a booklet. I'm very glad that you're taking the time to watch these. Okay, South Park's one of my favorite shows. Always Sunny in Philadelphia is too, but South Park, because they have these, almost all the characters, main characters for sure. I have uh, a few of the Mr. Garrison chips, not this one, this one. Yeah, you know, a few of those. And... Definitely, I definitely want to make a full, uh, a full line of sliders and have a Millie handle with one with each South Park character. I think would be really cool. It's awesome to multiply it. Very cool. Hey, Batman. All the Satan, Millie, and Jesus. It's awesome. Satan and Jesus from South Park too. I definitely gotta gotta get some more Millies. I haven't used them in a while. Oh wow, Our Cleveland. Lots of the Family Guy characters. Mr. Garrison. Oh, this is uh, Star Wars. They're definitely favorite movie situation. Angry Bird. Oh wow, they have multiple Angry Birds. That's pretty cool. These are all made by artists, so remember when you buy these Millies, somebody took the time to make these. So Pretty amazing that somebody was able to create these images out of glass. Alright, to the next one. Got lots of Millies. Hey, Cartman, I like it. Oh, Mysterio. That's the other Millie that I I have a pendant that before I was a glass artist, I bought a pendant with this Millie in it at a smoke shop when I was on the way. Just on a trip. Pop Belcher. Oh, I'm grateful that dancing bear. Submarine. A little uh, deals, I think. Hey, <laughs> Professor, that looks strange though. I don't like that. <laughs> Some of them look really good and accurate. Some of them look a little strange. Like you can see, the Professor looks a little weird. So this Amy. I like the Officer of Brady. looks pretty accurate. You know, Jake looks really accurate. Finn looks very accurate. Very cool. Got some American Dad movies. Now you see we have Dicro Alchemy Borosilicate Images. Now check these out. 
quite different. These are all, like it says up here, dicro images. So these are not millions. I'm getting inspired by some of these things. Like, I feel like, you know, we can draw some of these out ourselves with stringers and whatnot. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So we have these foot pedals. So these, well, I mean, they're foot pedals, and these right here are little exits for oxygen and propane where you hook your tanks up to these, and when you click it, uh, it switches over. Like when you have those, yeah, it's here, right here. When you have these torches that have multiple rings, so when you click this foot pedal, it switches to the middle ring and then you have those super advanced ones where there's like three or four rings here you can see so then that's when you have the super advanced pedals where you have all these all these things going on you can see the prices for those and the foot pedals more than a torch <laughs> some of them the L Marver I think I mean, it's not needed, but it's a really awesome tool to have. I definitely suggest getting the Elmarver for your torch once you have your torch. This is the one that I have for my Red Max. just goes right onto there. And you see they make one for each and every style of torch. All of them priced around the same. Let me see the $25 one, but it's just one piece versus the L. So it seems to be priced about the same all across. This is called a blast shield. Now, when people are working for long periods of time, or just in general, I have my person, one of the people who taught me at Zen Glass, he has one of these on his torch all the time. It's just in case little pieces pop up at you they don't anymore they just hit that and they don't come at you and I know a guy who does quartz glass he works with quartz glass and he also uses this just to kind of soften all the heat that's coming through there all right when you get your torch you're gonna need stuff like this flashback please get flashback arresters for your thing that is means if a spark it means sparks can't go down the torch sounds weird but sparks could go back like backfiring, and then your tank could blow up. But with these, won't do that. Simple as that. That's why I'd say they're very much so needed. You can see the price right there. It's not a bad price at all. It's even a little bit of a deal. Connectors. All right, you're gonna need these. So, you're going to need an oxygen regulator and a fuel regulator. You can see, on glass prices them right at the same. Why do you need a regulator? Because if you just hook a tube up to your tank and just run it in there, your tank has no idea how much pressure that, to put to the torch. So, that's not something you can do. You need to get the oxygen regulator and a propane regulator. One for each tank. And right over here... We have these Y splits. I think these are really awesome. We use these for sure, these Y ones. And then these are really awesome because you can turn it off right there rather than if you, this is good if you have, you know, multiple people uh, set up. So on one tank, I wouldn't suggest that anyways, but pretty cool. That's why we have these. These we use because our mini torch also needs you know, its own tubes. So what we do 
is we split off a section for the mini tubes. I kind of feel like showing you right now, so I'm going to. Okay, these are the flashback arresters, and then these are the splits. And you can see it splits, and it... Just going to turn our mini torch. Right here, you can see, you got hose. So that's what you need, your tubes slash hose. And then they connect to those, and then they connect to your regulator, and then your flashbacks, and then your torch, and your basically the last glow one. These more accessories, stuff you might need. You can see right here there's splits already together those are awesome different little pieces connectors adapters who have these and whatnots see the pricing more connectors and adapters and who have these and whatnots look at that starter kits so starter kits are where it's at Look at this, flashback arresters. Oh, here, it says what it includes. So you got the oxygen regulator, the gas regulator. It's perfect, check and check. Two things you need. Then you have the fuel hose and the oxygen hose right there. Boom, check and check, that's what you need. Oxygen and fuel flashback arresters. You needed those, check. Now a tungsten scoring blade. Now that is right here, and what that is, is that just helps you run that right around glass, and scoring just means kind of like you're getting it ready for a break. The wheel glass nippers, now you've seen us use these many times, these are amazing, you definitely need these when glass blowing to chip the glass, you saw us doing that in our cutting and polishing videos. Graphite paddle, everyone needs a graphite paddle. A graphite rod. Now see the graphite rod they give you is just you can kind of shape this into something if you wanted to use it as a pull push or something. You can kind of use like a grinding wheel or some sander and kind of sand down a shape if you wanted to out of this. Another graphite rod. Right there you can see there's two different sizes. Tweezers. Now you have seen us use tweezers every single time in every single video except this one wire grabbers now these wire grabbers are very useful because we need to hold glass sometimes and we can't hold it with our hands comes with some glasses look at that and they flip up and down that's pretty cool i like that shade three plastic clip-ons oh that must be the thing that goes up and down look at that what a nice kit right there there we go, some starter kit pricing. Now, when our studio burnt down, we definitely went to the beginner kits. And I got mine from ABR imagery, but this is, I mean, same basic thing. You would get the Nortel Red Max torch, and I got the little starter kit see as you see here starter kits for each torch that we went over earlier so bead making is a little bit different just small style could be doing that too clear starter kit so that's something you definitely need when you're getting started so Something like this is perfect. Look, it gives you four four millimeter four four millimeter rods, four six millimeter rods. It's gonna be four of each. Four eight millimeter rods. Oh no, it's not two ten millimeter rods. One sixteen millimeter rod, and it even includes tubing. Two nine point five millimeter x two point oh millimeter. Two twelve millimeter x two point two. That's our go to. Two sixteen millimeter x twenty five millimeter. 
and two 19 millimeter x3 32 or 3.2 millimeter and oh wow two 26 millimeters or 26 millimeter x4 millimeter pretty cool that's a great starter pack 50 bucks i mean come on it's perfect hundred dollar kit comes with same stuff just more of it so if you're if you know that you're not just getting into it but you're you're going all in then go all in get the nice glass pack get the red max torch you know you can there's simple just the tubing you know just tubing sample packs huge amount of tubing packs oh look there's even some solid in there And as you see in here, we have even more tool starter kits. And this is a roller. You got the pads, the scissors, the glass chippers, this little thing you run the glass in to kind of basically sh score it in a way. A blow tube. Look at that mouthpiece swivel. Graphite paddle. Graphite uh, marble mold. Perfect reamers. Look at this kit right underneath it. I mean, that's 300 bucks. That's I'd say that's a great deal. I'd say this one's also a great deal. These you use a lot. They're awesome. You can buy those. Those are like six bucks, and you set your tools down on it. Look at those heat gloves. You need that. You need these to cut the glass. Tweezers are perfect. You know, tungsten picks. The claw grabbers again. This right here is a heat pad right there and there, so you can grab things with like a little heat pad pretty cool oh yeah the chinese rod sample pack colored sample pack chinese tubing sample pack it's not bad pricing at all you have the color packs so like you get a sample pack of all glass alchemy's colors 50 bucks almost it's not bad the Hindu Kush sample pack, the North Star Rainbow sample pack. Got the, what does this say? Oh, the North Star. You got the North Star Rainbow Spectrum pack. The North Star Top 20 Half Rod sample pack. North Star Top 20 Quarter Rod sample pack. There's 20 items in there. And the UV CFL Half Stick sample pack. That's gotta be cool. Should get get another one of those that way I can get all the uh, UV colors again all right now what we talk about a lot is after the glass has been made you have to put it in the kiln to anneal so we have the company Paragon now these are nice simple kilns I have a friend that uses one of these another friend that uses these you see these a lot in the glass studios great kilns especially for someone who just do rigs or something like that they all go up and down and paragon f series just all new stuff you can see eventually we'll see our kiln pop up in here ours is the bluebird the black version blacked out version of the bluebird pretty cool you can grab that and like open the whole thing up i like that mine has two little doors that's kind of something that's cool about this like you can see they have like a little hatch door like I think I seen one on this page too yeah so like this whole piece section opens just like that but they're showing the hatch little door that opens it's kind of cool all right we have these Pretty cool. Nice small kilns. Hey, the Paragon Bluebird. But ours is the Bluebird XL. The 120 volt. Great kiln. Highly suggest this for anybody who is going all in. There we go. The Bluebird XL. That's us. And they even have a pink version. It's really dope. They have a blue, pink, and black version. I got the blacked out version looks the coolest to me all right anybody starting glass blowing I don't 
You know, you don't need to go all in on these. I think that this is the perfect starting kiln. This is the kiln that I started with. It's the Gen Ken Chili Pepper. I suggest everyone starts with a Chili Pepper kiln. It's the best starter kiln on the market, in my personal opinion. These are more kilns made by Gen Ken. They're just, you know, not the chili pepper. Like I said, I highly suggest the chili pepper kiln. And I also highly suggest the Paragon XL, because that's the one I use now. This is the first kiln I used, was the chili pepper, and then I went to that one. Paragon XL. Yep, really gets into all different kinds. And then this is another company, Scut. And once again, I've seen friends use these in the studio. It's a big scut kiln. Here we have kiln shelves. So you can put like, these are shelves that can actually go in your kiln. This is a rolling stand if you need your kiln to roll around. <laughs> this is another rolling stand. You have just small little accessories and parts towards the kiln to see if like something breaks like these regulators or anything goes wrong then you have the opportunity to buy new switches and new pieces that way you don't have to buy a whole new kiln you can just hopefully replace whatever broke but if you can't then you, of course you have to get a new kiln hopefully there's something if something goes wrong with your kiln that something on these two pages would be able to fix your problem. That way you wouldn't have to get a whole new kiln. More accessories. So these come into those tools. That is a brass necking tool. And you roll the glass in this little L. And you want to get it kind of scored. We're showing the pricing of reamers. This video is going to be a long one. Realizing more than glad to show you guys all this. More reamers. You can see their pricing of them. So you see more tools and parts. I think that's our reamer we use right there. Hey, hey here we go. These are the joint holding tools. That's how we make the sliders and ash catchers and water tubes that you see me make it's exactly how right there you need one of these picks to be able to push through glass from time to time reamers and bull pushes Now these are marble molds, but also other style molds, like a skull. The stars and stuff. It's pretty cool, you can press the glass into those. Marble molds. All types of stuff.
the wheel glass snippers. All different tools, mashers, pliers, tweezers. You can see the tweezer kits. You can see the set. Just eleven bucks. That's perfect. It's a cool style of tweezers. We have those kind of like a mash tweezer in a way. Ball grabbers. Once again, very useful. You see all the different styles. So I suggest getting these types of styles rather than one that grabs in. Because when it grabs in, it can leave marks versus when these just kind of like, it kind of rests in there. Yeah. Like, I don't suggest these, but I do suggest these type of thing. Very cool claw grabbers. These are perfect for like cups and wine glasses when you're doing those. Oh, right here you got your blow hose. Remember, you need one of those. You need these swivels so you can turn on here. You need mouthpieces. And these, the fittings. These right here are plugs, so if you have an open end on one piece of the glass but you need to puff air into it and you don't want the air to keep falling out, then, or blowing out, then you use one of these. Bigger plugs. Just more tubing and different stuff for lathes. A, the tool rod resting set. Six bucks. Perfect. More rollers and just random equipment. This one right here, the Taffy Turner. Those are amazing. I know the guy who makes them. He actually blows glass at the place that I learned how to blow glass. It goes by Taffy Tubes on Instagram. Oh yeah, speaking of which, remember, we go by RDW underscore glass on Instagram. These are vents, so remember you need ventilation. These are ventilation from above for cool fan hoods. So that is for grinding the glass. You have all these different, see a ring saw, bevel, I mean, everything you need. Mountain glass sells it. Talking about crushed opals and all types of stuff. Here's some glasses so you can lastly see how much those cost. Heat gloves on their own. This is really cool. You can get glass blowing how to's and books from them. I got these too. It's very educating if you enjoy reading. Remember these tungsten picks are very good for making holes through glass. Alright, and that is pretty much the end of the book. Uh, you see that they have merchandise. 
and it shows their little shipping timing. We're here. Well, heck freaking yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you guys joining in today. Please make sure you're subscribed to our channel. You're going to RDW Glass if you want to see daily posts. You go to rdw-glass.com if you want to purchase any of the art. We also do auctions on Instagram. Etsy, we have some resin art and some random trays and whatnot. Remember, we have our stickers and our mats available on all of these places. A sticker and a mat. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Hope this helped you get in more of an understanding of what it takes to get started. Definitely pricing wise. You can kind of write down what you see that you like and write down the price too. That way you can make a collection or a list of what you actually need to get started. And you'll know the pricing and you'll be prepared. So I hope this really helped you get started if you're a beginner glass blower. Thank you very much for tuning in. Stay safe. Peace guys.